I kind of uh, very enamored of data marketplaces. I think this is a cool emerging technology that meets one of those four items in the consumer mantra, right? Need to share data. And also it helps the other three, it helps you find the data products, you know, helps you trust them because there's implied contract. So what is a data marketplace and why should you have it? Um, I think it unlocks the true value of data products. You don't have to have a data marketplace to have data products, but it certainly helps in many ways, which we'll go through. You know, the big benefit is that it automates frictionless data sharing. Even if your organization wants to share data, does it happen? How easy is it to make that happen? I bet it's pretty darn hard. People kind of hold on to their data and sometimes they're very territorial about it, especially when there's not a really strong architecture or program supporting it. So a data marketplace makes it easy for data consumers to browse, search, and evaluate relevant data products. And this is a big one. It kind of forces you to define upfront who can access which products in which categories. And you define that access for the most part up front. You're still probably going to have the need to have requests and you know, manual provisioning. But for the most part, you can start to automate your data access. And that clears away a lot of obstacles. Three, subscriptions. You can define who can consume what products for how long, at what frequency, and through which channels and delivery methods. Just taking all the friction out of sharing things, and consuming things, right? So we do have commercial data marketplaces today, right? Amazon data marketplace, Snowflake data marketplace. And they're kind of what I'm talking about, except for internal consumption and use. These are internal data marketplaces I'm talking about now. So think of an Amazon data marketplace for your company. Terms of use and service, what's the contract? Defines what customer, consumers can do with the product and what producers must deliver. So we've talked about that. Just built right into the subscription. Specifies the price or cost, if it's a chargeback in your own company, of the product, if any. For the most part, if it's an internal data marketplace, these products will be provided free of charge. But you can see this lays the foundation for data monetization down the road, because you can easily turn this marketplace inside out and make select products in your library available to external customers and suppliers. And then finally, supports automatic delivery to a desired target via preferred channel in a specified format, so it automates the delivery. So you just don't have to go find it and then download it and then integrate it or put it somewhere. It's already just pushed there on demand, on subscription, on a regular interval if that's what you wanted, right? So that's why I think these marketplaces are so fundamental to data products is that they take the friction out of data sharing. And frankly, how many of you are interested in the data mesh? Handful, right? So you know the four pillars of the data mesh, right? Let's see if I can remember them. It's data products. That's where a lot of this interest in products come from is the whole data mesh thing, right? Self-service data platform, federated data governance, and what was the fourth one? <laughs> It'll come to me. But they missed one. The fifth one is a data marketplace. I mean, if you're going to have a mesh with all these distributed domains, creating data products, well, no one's going to be able to find them if they just live in the domain. You need to put them someplace so people can find them. So a data marketplace is fundamental to a data mesh. You with me so far? Excellent. Oh, my prediction, all large organizations will have a data marketplace in three to five years. Now, last year, there weren't any data marketplace tools or platforms available except if it was for commercial sales of data market, of data products. So Amazon, Snowflake, 
Well, Snowflake doesn't. You can't buy and sell stuff there as I understand it. But there's a lot of commercial selling and buying of products on various commercial data platforms out there. And some of those vendors are realizing the big opportunity is not for that kind of external data consumption. It's inside organizations and enterprises. So they're moving to provide internal data marketplaces. 